Hi everybody, this is Gad Saad. Just found out in the past hour that uh, Tucker Carlson has uh, left uh, the Fox News Network. Uh, this is upsetting to me on a personal level because I've gotten to know Tucker quite well. I have appeared on his uh, nighttime show twice and then his long form show uh, once. Uh, the latter of which was in person, and I had gone to do his show in Florida, and my family had joined me, so at the end of the show, uh, they came up to say hello to him, my wife and kids, and uh, he was humble, down-to-earth, kind, attentive, a real guy's guy, and uh, you really can tell uh, how a person is in terms of how they uh, react to those around them and uh, you know he was nothing but class but what I wanted to talk about today briefly is something that I posted you know in some sense prophetically just yesterday so I had posted this okay so I'm just going to read this is on my Twitter feed some authors podcasters and other assorted personalities have built their platforms on an ethos of faux niceness quote Look, I don't critique anyone. I don't take divisive positions. I'm everyone's friend. I'm here to spread love and positivity, close quote. There is nothing more existentially positive than to defend the truth. There is a time to be kind and a time to be critical. To be unforgiving and fighting against the enemies of reason does not make you negative. It makes you an honest interlocutor. Now, some of you may debate as to whether he's, uh, you know, uh, pursuing truth and defending truth and so on. Uh, leaving that aside for a second, and then I later wrote, being faux nice is the only currency that matters to many of these, you know, uh, faux nice folks. Whilst every deontological principle that defines enlightened and free societies is destroyed. This was, I was uh, responding to something that uh, jo Jordan Peterson had written to me. So the idea basically is that Tucker Carlson takes difficult positions. He take, he, he's not a fence sitter. As I always said, the people that you probably consider to be most interesting, either in your life or in, in, in the public sphere, are precisely those who are opinionated, who take positions, who don't equivocate, who don't engage in fence sitting. So whether you like Tucker or not, and I like him very much, uh, he takes positions. He mocks, he criticizes, he's critical. Uh in my view, he's spot on on, you know, countless positions. Uh, and of course, what that does is it creates enemies, right? Uh, I was just talking about this with my wife uh, in the car earlier today, whereby I was saying, you know, there are several extremely high profile people who followed me at one point and were fans and then unfollowed me. And the, the main reason for that, I, I know in many cases for a fact, is that they view me as, you know, divisive, right? So, but the reality is that, and of course their argument is that, you know, you build a bigger tent where everybody is welcome if you're always positive and spread love. But that's not how the real world works. If you meet me in person, if you, if you truly know me, as, you know, most people have a sense of who I am, they know that I'm actually incredibly affectionate and warm and kind that doesn't stop me from taking positions on divisive issues i criticize a religion if i think that that religion is antithetical to freedom and liberty i attack a idea pathogen if i think it departs from truth uh, taking positions on difficult and divisive matters does not make you a mean person or 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 lacking in positivity it makes you an honest interlocutor as i said now again in in tucker carlson's case you may disagree with many of his positions you may not like the fact that he is quote uh, a conservative pundit but the reality is he's taking positions and that right away makes you an enemy of anyone who doesn't uh, support the position that you're taking. But the reason why he is so popular, the reason why he's the, the, the number one guy on, on television is precisely because people don't want to watch spread love and positivity bullshitters. And, you know, I've, I've struggled with this issue because sometimes I get, I get frustrated. I say, you know, 
how could this person who I had respect for them uh, suddenly decide that they don't want to be associated with me because, you know, I'm, I, I, I mock the, you know, boys too can menstruate or, you know, boys, men can bear children. That, you know, that's so negative. It's I'm being critical and I'm mocking transgender people. I'm not mocking transgender people, right? I'm not in the least bit. I'm mocking the fact that you are willing to depart from reality in support of appearing nice and inclusive and tolerant and let's all make love under the big tent of positivity. So again, uh, Tucker Carlson, I'm not worried in the least bit for him. If anything, I hate to say it because I, I, I love Fox. I've appeared many times on Fox, although I'm happy to appear on any show. I, I'd love to appear on all of the shows on the other side of the political aisle, CNN, MSNBC. If they give me an opportunity, I'm there. Uh, but, you know, I think that f I don't know what the inside story behind why Tucker left. But to me, it, he's irreplaceable, right? I mean, I I watch him. I love his uh, sarcasm and his satire. A man after my own heart. That's, you know, he's spicy. He mixes it up. Therefore, he's watchable. On the other hand... Same day, Don Lemon uh, was just let go of CNN. Don Lemon is exactly all the things that Tucker Carlson is not. <laughs> Tucker Carlson is intelligent. Don Lemon is not. Tucker Carlson, you know, is spicy. He takes sarcastic positions. He's tough. The other guy is just a intersectional, orgiastic schmuck. Right, you can't fire me. I'm gay and I'm black. Don't talk to me about. Right, recently you had the, the guy, the presidential. He's been on my show. I can't remember his name. Uh, the uh, Vivek guy, uh, and he's you know bullying him, telling him, you know, don't tell me about what it is to be a person of color in the United States. Have Have you seen Vivek? Does he look like a white supremacist? So this is a guy who has a tired shtick. I'm talking about Don Lemon. It, it, it took 17 years to get rid of him precisely because he scored high on the intersectionality, victimology, you know, poker. Faux victimology, by the way, because he's hardly a victim. Uh, Tucker, on the other hand, everything that he's done, he's earned it in that he is, you know, watchable. He, he's someone that, whether you agree or disagree with him, you're going to have fun watching him. He's fun. He's irreverent. He's certainly intelligent. He's well informed, and so on and so forth. The, that's the exact re same reason why Ma Megan Kelly is uh, great to listen to and great to, to at the time watch because she is a honey badger. They're both honey badgers, right? So again, people who equivocate, people who don't take positions, people who don't express an opinion, as many of the people who have disassociated uh, from me. Uh, because they want to spread positivity. They're invertebrate castrati. They have no spine and they have no testicles because they want to appeal to everyone. That's not an authentic life. Read this book about the links between authenticity and happiness. So Tucker, my man, you're great. You're only going to get to, to go to bigger and better things. And by the way, I've mentioned this previously. I, my best friend from my childhood in Lebanon, someone with whom I went through the Lebanese Civil War, who is a cousin of mine, publicly rebuked me a while ago because, you know, I had appeared on Tucker. So this is how triggering Tucker is, so much so that a family member disavows me for having been linked to Tucker Carlson. You're the man, Tucker. Cheers, everybody.